On the sideline, we got Tom Trebeville with the coin toss. Tom. Yeah, Dave, A&M won the toss. They deferred. Citadel said, we want the football. The Aggies are kicking off. They decided to defend the south end. The south end, that's the scoreboard end. So the Aggies will be kicking off right to left as you broadcast the game. Citadel will have the ball first. They'll be moving from the north to the south. All right, they have deployed two deep. Zemanski puts his foot into it. This one's going to go to the back of the end zone. They think about bringing it out, and they say, nope, we're going to take it at the 20. How about that? And here comes the Citadel off the sideline. They start first down and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Duran Lawson is their quarterback. He's six foot, 191, a junior from South Carolina, appeared in five games last year. A tight right, slot left, single setback. We'll see that most of the day. Hand off. They try the left side. Little shot there out to about the 26-yard line. They pick up four. Harrington, Bryant, Reed, Jack are the down linemen, linebackers. Pick them up here after this play. They throw, and they throw incomplete out across the 30. And a man there at about the 30-yard line. Macy Toupe and uh, Featherston, Matt Featherston, are the linebackers for Texas A&M. Those two. Here's the snap out of a shotgun. Lawson rolling left. He throws. That's a catch. That's going to be close for a first down right about the 30, and then they step into the sideline. Where do they mark it? I think he's going to be just short, Dave. It looks like he's marking it just short of the 30-yard line, about an inch. He punted 80 times last year, which was a school record for a 37-5 average. Had a long of 58. Return man for the Aggies standing back at the A&M 29 is Chad Schrader. Line of scrimmage, the 29-yard line of Citadel calling for a fair catch, rolling to his right, makes the catch on the run at the 36 is Schrader. So that will go 37 yards on the first kick of the day. Formation, motion, the Aggies going left to right. And we'll go on the ground on a handoff here to Lewis. Starts left, going back to the right, has the 40, broke a tackle, dives for the 45-yard line from the 37. Now out of bounds officially at the 44. Be about a seven-yard pickup. The Ags will end up facing a second down and three, and there is a flag down on the play. That'll move it into uh, the Citadel territory, the Bulldog territory, down to the 41-yard line. So the Aggies get seven yards on the run and 15 more on the penalty, and they're suddenly in great field position in uh, Bulldog territory. Riley and Taylor come to this side. Also in as a receiver, Martellus Bennett. He's a stand up here. We got three wides on the left. And the snap goes back to McGee. McGee cuts it across the 40. He gets inside the run right at the 35 yard line. He picks up six. McGee just got the carry. It's 13 13 to go. We're playing in the first. Brandon Leone has checked into the game. Leone, six foot, 223, senior three letters, Spring Oak Ridge. And they're empty in the backfield. Three wides on the right. Leone, one of those, along with Taylor and Riley. Here on this side, Martellus Bennett and Schrader. Here is McGee. He throws. That's a catch. Bennett caught. And he goes to the 25. First down for the Aggies. He just got 10 yards on his first catch of the season. Jonathan Best upset him there, but not before he picks up the first down. No score. Ags drive. 12.52 to go in the first. Citadel here at Kyle Field tonight. Jaworski Lane. Jaworski just checked in to the Aggie offense. Well, that's the kind of pattern you want your quarterback to start the season with. A quick slant to a huge target in Martellus Bennett. And it's complete for the first down, down to the 25-yard line. Out over the ball, Cody Wallace, 6'4", 296, a junior, one letter from Cuero on the ground. Lane got it. Falls forward across the line of scrimmage, the 25 to about the 21-yard line. It'll be a second down coming up in about seven for Texas A&M near the Citadel, 22. That was middle linebacker Andrew Rowell making that tackle. He weighs in at 213, and uh, Javorski Lane at about 270. All right, to keep two halfbacks in, step off the line with Martellus Bennett, put him in motion, going right to left. Ball almost in the middle of the field. The handoff goes to Courtney Lewis. They try the middle on a second down and seven. They wrap that up as he hit the line. No gain, may have lost a half yard. Third down and about that same seven. But Tydrick Riley has checked back in. Martellus Bennett is out there. Irvin Taylor's in. Brandon Leone's a halfback to the left side. They move him in motion now to the right, empty in the backfield. Wide out, Schrader on the left side, throw it to Chad. He caught it. He's at the 15. That's a first down. The Aggies, Chad Schrader. Nice move by Schrader. He didn't have the first down when he caught the ball, but he fell forward and picked it up as he fell. It'll go down to the, about the 14-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Aggies at that point. 
All right, a catch at the 14-yard line. Lane and Chris Alexander check back. As a matter of fact, that'll be Alexander's first playing time. He'll be the fullback. Lane, the tailback with an eye. And we go with two tights. Matter of fact, there's an extra tight end. Joy Thomas handoff lane, tries the middle. He's got about five yards. He's across the 10, near the nine. Line of scrimmage, the 14. It'll be second down and five coming up. We have 10.45 remaining in this first period. The Aggies, their first possession. That's the kind of football that Fran would like to play all the time. A lot of beef in the backfield with Alexander and Javorski Lane and just run it right up the middle. He picked up five. Aggies now six plays, 54 yards on this possession. Here is second down and five, the Citadel nine-yard line. Hash left, handoff, it goes to Lewis. Lewis tripped as he hit the line of scrimmage, falls across the line to about the 12-yard line. Big play in the game so far. Courtney's on one side, Javorski Lane's on the other side. a and with a tight end left. Martellus Bennett, Joy Thomas was in the backfield, went in motion. They just hand it off to Lane. He's at the one. He fell oh, down just the one-yard line. It's first and goal. The Aggies at the one. Lane in the middle just got seven of the eight yards they needed for a touchdown. And now off the sideline, Alexander and Riley are coming in. Chad Schrader back to the sideline. So Aggies have it first and goal at the Citadel one. 9.37 remaining first period. This is the first possession of the year for the Aggie offense. Yeah, this was a, an option, but he gave it to, to Javorski Lane and the offensive line. A great job, a huge hole off to the right side. There's an Aggie power offense. Riley goes in motion, spins, goes the other way. Lewis, handoff, touchdown. Courtney Lewis, one yard out. Eight touchdowns last year. He gets his first here today. The Aggie score at the 9-16 mark. Make it six to nothing in the first period over the Citadel. Comes the extra point. Zamansky with Chad Schrader to hold. This will be his first point as an Aggie. It's up and it's good. That's the first of what we hope will be many, many points for that young man from Consal who graduated early. And uh, what should be his senior year in high school is his freshman year at Texas A&M. Hey, that looked like a very smooth drive. I mean, I think they'll be happy with that. No mistakes. Uh, they were able to convert when they had to, especially on that third and seven uh, with the completion to Schrader. And they get the ball in the end zone on their first possession of the 2006 season. Matt Zemanski is set to kick off for the second time, his first kickoff to the end line. This one will be returned at the goal line. Back to the five, the 10, out to the 15, breaks across to the 21, 22 yard line. Good block right there by one of the Bulldogs. That's uh, Tim Skaggs, a fifth year walk on senior. Got a flag good block down, on that Dave. corner. There is a flag four, down, and out to the 22 flag with the play. carry. So it's going to be a hold against the Citadel. And that's at the 22 yard line on that return. They started their first possession at the 20. They got it fourth down and inches and decided to punt the ball away. Holding. Four, oh, four of the return, of the return team. team. The penalty is half the distance to the goal from the front spot of the foul, and it's a first down. Shotgun empty in the backfield, put a man in motion. They'll set him up to the right of Lawson. High snap. There's a handoff back in the backfield, and that's Jason Jack. Just got himself a tackle behind the line. All the way back at about the seven line of scrimmage was the 10. Torrey Cooper is the other running back, a tailback, 5'7", 181, junior, South Carolina. Six games, carried four times last year, 23 uh, yards. Moved to running back mid-year in 05. Big difference between their two running backs. High snap, loss and throws, screen, left side, got a block. He's out to the 15, 16 yard line after he made the reception behind the line of scrimmage. Pass goes out to Tamar Jernigan. Jernigan, a junior from Florida who had 40 receptions last year and is a returner for this squad this year. Had nine starts in 05. Third down, three, as Dave just told you, time, 7.53. First quarter, Aggie seven, Citadel nothing. They had a Third down earlier, didn't convert. Quarterback keeper Dawson has made this a first down across the 20 to the 25, almost the 26-yard line. And he had a good season going when he went out with an injury last year, and then they were quarterback by committee the rest of the year. He's the best athlete on this team. Did a good job that time with the quarterback draw, picking up the first down. They have both running backs in on this play. This is Cooper and uh, also Goodrum. 
And Goodrum got the handoff. He's got a good hole. He's over the left side, across the 30, out to the 34-yard line. That was first and 10 at their own 26. He got it out to the 34th. Second down and two coming up. 7-13 first period. Aggies score on their first possession. All right, second down and two. After a penalty on their return, which they got to the 22, they were penalized back to their own 10. Started this drive 90 yards away. There's the snap. Drops back. Throws. That's a catch. It's the tight end. That's a first down to the 46-yard line. Empty in the backfield for Lawson. He's got three wides on the open side to the right. Got a slot. Two men on the left. No tight end. There's the snap in the shotgun. Drops back. Throws. It's deflected at near the line of scrimmage and goes incomplete. And here they go on second down and 10. Clock stopped on the incomplete 6-17 to go on the first. The Aggies leading the Bulldogs 7-0 near midfield. High snap. They're coming. Here's the throw. It's off to the right side. He was under a lot of pressure. Trying to get it to Cooper, who was a safety valve. Aggies brought the house up the middle. It was a high snap. Lawson then saw him coming, and he dumped it off in a hurry. And he was high out of that uh, attempt to uh, Troy Cooper. It's third down and 10, as Dave told you. Citadel near midfield, their own 46-yard line. Running back to his right, three wides to the right, one to the left. There's the snap play action. Drops back, sets up. He's throwing deep, has a man over, threw him. A little high on the pass to Tamar Jernigan, the junior from Florida. Had it been down, he might have had a chance to get in, Dave. It's an incomplete pass, and it brings up fourth down for the Citadel Bulldog. This again is Mark Casper, the young man from Navasota, who at one time lived here in College Station. We talked to Robbie Robinson, their play-by-play -play guy, and he said that uh, Mark Casper always dreamed of playing at A&M, but he didn't get any offers from any major schools. Here's the kick, and it's a nice one. Schrader backing up at the 17, got a flag down. Here comes the return to the 20. He is nailed at the 23-24 yard line on that return. 37 on that punt by Mark Casper. An illegal block an illegal in the back, back on the back return, return team. team. The penalty is penalty 10, 10 yards from the spot of the, from the end of the kick, the kick. and it's first, first down. Need to. All right, as we rejoin you then, we're 5.13 to go in the first uh, quarter. The Aggies lead the Citadel 7 to nothing. It is a second down coming up and six. Ball now at about the 10 and a half yard line. Goodson just got it, broke a tackle, spins, breaks another tackle. He's out to the 20 yard line. Oh, we saw some good things from him during the fall workouts. He goes nine on that carry. Now on the field, your fourth ranked Texas Aggie soccer team. Texas A&M soccer team is being introduced across the way. They were in the Aggie fan zone handing out autographs. They beat Illinois last night three to nothing. That was a big win. They're off to a wonderful start. Beat North Carolina here at the soccer stadium. Won that one in overtime. A couple of overtimes, one nothing. They're now number four in the nation, the soccer team. Champions of the Big 12 last year holding up the hardware as they walk off the field. They play Penn State tomorrow. They're walking off. The Aggies have it first and 10. Goodson got the handoff, tries left, spins back. He's coming this way to the 25, got a uh, block. He's at the 40, and he's knocked down at the 45. Oh, man, what a move he made. Going right, a complete spin. He comes back to this side and gets 26 yards all the way out to the Aggie. 47 yard line, first and 10, the Ags four and a half to go here in the first. A&M seven, Citadel nothing. He is six foot two oh five, freshman Klein Collins. First down and 10, empty in the backfield this time for McGee. The ball at the Aggie 45 yard line. A&M leads seven nothing, first quarter. Lewis in the lineup, sets up to the right of McGee. Play action by Steven, drops back, dancing, throwing. He's got a man on this side, a high kick, he caught it. Across wow. the 20, 24, that's going to be Chad Schrader. Schrader at the 17-yard line, 38 yards. Ball at the 18-yard line for the Aggies, first and 10. And the Babalola's out there right now. Cody Wallace out over the ball on the offensive line. The Aggies have a man flexed right side. They put him in motion. That's Joy Thomas, the tight end. Started left, goes back to the right. Here's a delay to Lewis. Lewis, right side, got some yards. He's across the 15 to the 13-yard line. Second down and five, the Aggies at the Citadel 13-yard line. There may have been a fumble on the snap from center. They're fighting for it at oh, about the boy. 12. Citadel saying they've got it. No indication yeah, from Yeah, they the, do. Yep, they do. Okay, the officials just said that the Aggies have turned it over. On the snap from center, they didn't connect up. 
And a fumble recovery by the Citadel, the first turnover of the year against Texas A&M. A&M last year, we'll check it here in a moment, fumbled 25 times and lost 10. We picked up 14. Option left side, loss, and there's the pitch. Goes back to Cooper. Oh, he just got driven back the other way. At the 10, they'll give him forward progress. Mark Dodge, Mark Dodge. junior college transfer who spent four years in the Army, just made that hit. Citadel, second down, and now about 11. 2.22 remaining here in the first. 7 0 AM. Shotgun empty in the backfield. Going to throw it to this side. It's a screen. It's caught. Stopped at the 10. Fumble. Let's see if it's a fumble. I think it was. The Aggies saying they got it. Ball was caught. Held on to it. Hit as he crossed the 10. Went to about the 11. Looked like he was still up, but that ball came loose. They are piled up. It was Mark Dodge again with that hit. He calls the fumble. Let's see if the Aggies have it. AM's yes. ball. They'll get it back on the fumble recovery. So trade one for one. We give Melvin it up. Bullock. We get it right back. Melvin Bullock got the fumble recovery. Oh, Morrow's in the lineup now, way out there on the right side. Joy Thomas is the tight end left. Tight end right is Martellus Spinett. An I formation. The lead back. Looks like it's Alexander. It is. Start the option. Going right. There's the pitch. Lewis at the 10. Looking for the corner at the 5. And he's out of bounds at the five-yard line. That was a first stand, 10 from the 12. They will face now a second down coming up. Ball will be spotted at the five. Good execution that time on the option. A nice pitch and good blocking by Howard Morrow out in the flat uh, in leading that option pitch. Alexander, fullback, lane, tailback, got it. He's going in. Touchdown. About five and a half yards out. 13 to nothing, Texas A&M. Now the extra point coming up from Matt Zamansky. Schrader's holding. It's down, it's up. And it's good. Makes it 14 to nothing, the Aggies. 146 to go. We're playing in the first here at Kyle Field, the opening game for Texas A&M. Well, the Aggies go up 14 to nothing. A minute 46 left to play in the first quarter. Here's the kickoff, Dave. Cooper. One of those back, and Cooper will take it at the goal line on the kickoff by Zamansky across the 15 out to the 17-yard line. First down, 10, Citadel at their 17. Straight drop, throws, left side, caught 20, 25-yard line, and out of bounds into the Citadel bench. Nisi Toupe in the lineup. Linebacker on this side of the field in a shotgun. Lawson has his snap, quarterback draw. He's out across the 25. He is near the 28, and he just got himself a first down carry on that one. On the defense, offensive side, Domanski now way out there to the left side. They got two wides in that direction. Single wide here. He's got a running back on either side of him, and he gave it to the left half, and that will be Goodrum. The D will carry to the 32-yard line from the 24-yard pickup. 25 seconds to go here in the first. This probably will be the last play unless they kill the clock with some sort of action. Single setback. Lawson under center on a second down at about seven. They hand off Goodrum again. He got the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and still about six or seven coming up. And the Citadel first play, second quarter, has a third down and six at their own 32. Straight drop by Lawson. Hit sack back at the 21-yard line. I think that's Harrington, it is. Mark Gasper on to punt the ball away. Punted twice today for an average of 35-5. Young man from Navasota, fourth down 17. Schrader standing at the Aggie 39. It is 14 to nothing. The Ags lead. We're just underway in the second stanza. High snap. Outside. Got it. It's been blocked. Got a chance. It hits at the goal line. Bouncing around and recovered. Where? At the oh, they're gonna one, stay yard one yard line. line. Inside the one yard line. Going to get the block here in a moment. That might have been Alton Dixon. Nope, it's E.J. Shankle.